Hello friends, welcome to my channel, a channel for learning simple coding. If you find this video to be helpful, please like, share and subscribe my channel. In this video, we are going to learn what is event and event handling, how to create event in Next.js, how event is different from function, how to use how to pass parameter to event also and how to pass event as a props to the component. Most important part of Next.js with TypeScript video number 5. Let us understand this event and event handling with the help of example. So if I go to there in this code, so already I am using this component. So in this component, I am using one more component is called button. So I say button here and in this button, I say click me like this. I am want to use. So if you see that I refresh it and I have this button but it's not looking like a button. So we try to give here some class. So I say class name and I say bg blue color of 500 this one and try to see this you see it is look like this. Then I say hover if you go on this then bg color should be blue of, of 700 something change I want. Then I want uh, text color should be white. Then I want uh, margin or we can say padding of two. Then I say rounded. So this is all about the CSS which I want to apply on this. And you will see that it look like a button. You see it looking a button. Simple one. Click me. So with the help of Tailwind CSS, we have converted this into the button format. If I click on this, it should display some message that I want to do remember that i can create this uh, button inside this page also or i can create this button inside this also so right now i am cutting from it and i am pasting this after this inside the page remember that because i want to show each and everything that now this button is inside a page not inside a display now i want to click on this button and i want to display some information so this button is what source of event because it will fire the event so it's a source and if i say here on click remember that i say on click so this on click is an event remember that we have to understand the event and event handler so this button is a source of event on click is a event and the function which i am going to pass here that function is called event handler so event handler is a function that execute your code on click of a button event handler is the function event is on click event source is a button suppose i say masses i am displaying here like this so this is the function that i am going to pass remember that this masses is a function but i can't call it like this as a function because this is a event also so how it will be execute so uh, what i do here here i say that we have a function so i say msg is a function uh, so i declare it as an arrow function remember that and here i say alert and here i say you click on me like this message i want to pass remember that so this is what this is the you click on me that event i want to pass on this when i click on this and you see that it's showing that if you are creating a click then it cannot be executed in a server component you have to convert into client component remember that so now i have to convert it into a react component so i say use client remember that if i do that then it error is removed you see refresh it then this is there if i click here do you have the alert message remember that now one thing you have to understand here that this msg is a function maybe normal maybe arrow function but i am not calling this function like this as a function because now it's calling as a function it is an error we can't call like this we have to pass as a event so in a event we have to pass as a reference remember that this we have to pass as a reference of this we can't call it it call automatically when click on a button then it call itself that's why it's a event now one thing is done how event handler are different from function we have understand that 
we are not calling it right now it call automatically when click on this now how to use event handler we have learned how to pass parameter in event handler that we have to understand suppose the message which we want to display that message i want to display from here so here i say message of a string type that i want to read from this and this message i want to display here for example i say here message that i want to display in alert this message i want to display here remember that so this message we need to pass from here but how i can pass if i can't cannot use like this i can't use like this so here also i need to use arrow function like this remember that so under this arrow function i call this function and here i pass the value that uh, welcome to next chairs event event handling you see that i am passing here this message so there is a arrow function inside this arrow function i am calling this function remember that now this is not a event it is a normal function and this arrow function which i am passing here this is a event because directly i am calling this directly i am declaring this function here arrow function and this arrow function will automatically execute when i click on this button and this button is calling inside this function so this function is not look like as a event it's a normal function but i am passing a value that's why i am using it inside this remember that now if i go there and i click I refresh it once again and if I click on this you will see that new message is coming here no problem at all like this we have understand now what is event how to uh, use event how to fire this now question is that if I cut this button from here and I paste this button here remember that now I want to execute i pass this event this particular function i want to pass to this button remember that how i can pass this for that in this here i say on press equal to i say msg remember that this i am passing here as a event you see msg on press i am creating a separate event on this and this on press i want to use here so here i want to use this on press remember that so in place of this here i need on press so i say on press here i need to pass this and this on press i need to import here i say on press remember that here I need to declare this I say on press is a arrow function like this that is not returning any value remember that so on press is having a function this function I am returning here this function I need to pass here it is not returning any value so I am passing this and because uh, we are passing a value to this remember that I am passing this string variable here so this i need to define here also that in this function i have the masses of a string type that i need to define also because i have to specify each and everything as a type script you see that now its error is gone because i have mentioned that i am passing a string type in this function so on click same we will execute right now if i click here you see this is the same i am executing it no problem at all just you refresh it you change the message also suppose i say executing inside display if i say executing inside display suppose i do write this and once again i click here you see executing inside display it's not so simple to understand it's a typical one but it's a core of react and next.js event handling if you understand this you will do mastery in learning next years remember that it's a type of script each and everything you have to define so we are passing event as a props here this is the event that we are passing here you see we are passing this event as a props here i have explained each and every concept of event handling to you what is event event handling event source how event handler is different from event function 
how to use event handler how to pass parameter to event handler and how to pass event handler as a props to the components so each and every concept i have explained in a very very simple and easy to understand example if you like this if you learn something from this please do subscribe thank you for watching this video Thank you.